Hello, I'm Lord Jimsicle, and you're watching a Halloween special of You Have Frogs, a program all about the galaxy's greatest comet, 2000 AD. Can you imagine living in Mega City 1? It would be bloody horrible. Imagine just living your life in a tiny little shoebox in a gigantic mega block, just trying to get by without criminals or the judges out to get you. Well, imagine waking up one day to find out the half of the city has been obliterated and the Justice Department is now being run by a group of spectral judges who seem to think that all life is a crime. Well, you get to find out in what is probably my favourite Judge Dredd story. Necropolis. Written by John Wagner and with art by Carlos Esquerra, this story is a major event in Judge Dredd history and considered one of the top stories involving the Dark Judges. These events had a huge effect on Mega City 1 and made their mark on future stories such as Total War and Judgment Day. So, to get a clearer picture of this story, I think it's important that you know about the preceding events, which I'm going to gloss over in a few broad strokes. Prior to this story, Dredd was having something of an epiphany regarding the very system he swore to uphold, and due to the events of the Democracy storyline, he ultimately decided to resign and to take the Long Walk. Just before Dredd took the Long Walk, he was charged with assessing a young cadet by the name of Kraken. Kraken ticked all the right boxes and turned in an outstanding performance, but in the end he was given a fail grade by Dredd. It was discovered that Kraken, despite sharing DNA with Dredd, was a clone from Judd, a rogue judge who led the extremist group Judah, whose primary goal was to overthrow the judges. With Dredd now in the Cursed Earth, the top brass feared that there would be a surge in crime due to the loss of Dredd as a symbol. This led to the decision for Kraken to pose as Dredd in Mega City 1 to keep order. Thanks for sticking with me so far. Now, on to the story in question. I found the prologue tale Dear Annie particularly harrowing, as it depicted the Sisters of Death manipulating a young woman into becoming a bride of Judge Death all told through the eyes of her terrified husband, who fell victim to her longing for the Dark Judge. However, this was but a small taste of what was to come. The Sisters of Death manipulate Judge Kraken's weakened mind in order to do their bidding, and kidnap Psy Judge Kit Agi to use her psychic abilities to bridge together Deadworld and Mega City 1, and thus freeing the Dark Judges to wreak havoc within the city walls. With the Dark Judges controlling the Judges, execution of citizens are performed en masse by the Justice Department, and it's up to a group of cadet Judges being led by Judge Dredd, who has returned to Mega City 1 after taking the long walk due to the events of the previous story, which I mentioned earlier. It's a harrowing tale that shows not only how there is much more to the Dredd universe than arresting crooks, but it also demonstrated, or rather proved, how the justice system is fundamentally flawed, and more importantly, the scale of this failure cost the lives of millions of citizens of Mega City 1. I think the most standout feature of this story is the artwork, which was done by Carlos Esquerra. It's utterly haunting, and in my opinion is the most chilling depiction of Mega City 1. The designs of the city, the Sisters of Death, and the Dark Judges themselves are like something out of a creepy historical art piece. The splash pages capture the horror and sheer magnitude of the Dark Judges' rampage perfectly. Over the years, there has never been any shortage of showing Mega City 1 as an abhorrent place to live, but this one takes the cake. As the story progresses, the city gradually starts to take on skeletal aspects, almost looking like the buildings are under an x-ray, and the red skies are so ominous it puts any event from the Big Two to shame. This story can be found in the Complete Case Files 14, but it can also be found in the Judge Dredd Mega Collection, issue 31. If you're interested in the Dark Judges, then I think this story is highly recommended. Thank you very much for watching this Halloween special of You Have Progs. I'm Lord Jimsicle. Stick around, check out all my other Halloween specials.